Hi, my beautiful Cancer souls. Welcome to your reading for the month of May. First of all, I'm just so happy I'm able to do this reading today. I've been dealing with some health issues and health delays, so I had to accept and surrender to divine timing when it comes to my healing, and that has been a challenge for me. So personally, I think I've uh, overcame something myself by accepting the fact I wasn't able to record this any sooner, even though I really wanted to, I was just not capable. So now, cancers, there is this, um, there's this month of May coming and it's almost here. Here it's, it will be here in a couple days and it's going to bring upgrades and downloads for you guys, but definitely sort of, um, access to a, a newfound of wisdom um, newfound uh, ways of of reacting of, of dealing with things it's like new ways and it's like sort of a door opening and you get access to that down like that information like the download basically which I found so powerful because it's right before our birthday season right it's like almost two months now and um, when our birthday season starts and I think this is going to give us so much growth, like much more growth than we had like the last four months, even though, because it's not like we haven't been learning and we haven't been evolving, just everything has been in such a slow pace. And that wasn't on us, that was just, you know, universal timing. So basically what I feel, and that's so powerful, it has a lot to do with the Taurus energy. So like our relationship sector, right? But for us, it's, and I feel it very strongly. Mm, there's this other way, this third way we're getting access to of looking at situations, of looking at friendships, of looking at dynamics between our, us and our friends, or people we call our friends, right? Um, between our soul tribe, basically, as well. Uh, between us and our family members, between you and your mother, you and your father, and whether they're still with us or not, um, it's the dynamic. And getting this whole other third viewpoint as an access. And I, I jumped into that energy because I had that download yesterday and I was like, wow, this is so interesting. How do, how do you use that, right? Um, and it sounds really... I know it sounds weird or not weird, but maybe not. Like it's like, yeah, but what do you mean with like a third way perspective, right? It's like, this is a point of view from another person. It's like almost like your higher self is showing you the exact situation in that very moment. It's like, okay, I feel a certain way. When we can feel a certain way, we feel it so deeply that it makes sense in all our senses basically and all our um parts you know in the mind it starts to make sense when we feel something very strongly we the way you know we use words and to describe what we're feeling everything in that very moment is embodied by this is the feeling and this is what i believe to be true right because we believe it so strongly then you have the other person's point of view which comes maybe a lot more rational you know from the mind from from what they know to be true and then you have the higher perspective and i feel that you guys are get having gonna have moments in the month of may where you have that access and it's so liberating it will be so freeing um, like I said, I jumped into that energy yesterday. It was so interesting. And if you're not interested in this, I get that. But there's some of my cancers that need to hear this. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even use this information. So it was literally straight up download yesterday I had. So I want to share it with you guys, you know. Um, I just do. <laughs> anyway, I jumped into it. And what I found was this... Almost this aquarium way of looking at something. Not saying that it's exactly the Aquarian way, I'm just saying the higher knowledge with some Aquarius souls hold within them if they let themselves exit it, access it or not. It's like 
feeling the feels, right? Feeling it very deeply, knowing that this is what you feel, this is what your intuition is telling you, this is what your soul is pushing you to do. That is to be true. And then stepping aside from it, not away from it, from aside, letting that be as is and looking at it and go over it. Okay, I feel a certain way. I feel this way right now. Normally we go like, I know to be true, if I know that it's true, you know, this, I'm going to act on it, I'm going to speak on it, I'm going to handle it, right? It's this thing. But now it's like, okay, I know it, I feel this feeling. And then we're going to, you're going to go on sort of like another branch, which is like, okay, I have this feeling. Why do I feel this way? You know, really are capable of actually answering yourself in that very moment. And then you're going to go on the other side. It's like, okay, I know I feel this way and that's normal, but I got to look at it from a higher perspective. And that higher perspective was not accessible up until this month. Not on that level. And that's why I said you will have certain moments and, and certain just moment of stillness and you just get a chance to literally get out of your own body almost out of your own feels and step aside and look at it from a higher perspective and that's going to help you move forward and forward in life it's not going to be in the month of may the month of june or just you know to the end of 2019 this is going to be very important one when it comes to your relationships and how you divine yourself in it from like a higher perspective so it's very powerful and i think it's um not for everybody to understand right now this for some of them is like yeah what are, you, what are you talking about right you've been talking for six minutes what are you even talking about it's going to come naturally so a lot of cancers will not hear this message because obviously not every cancer in the world listens to this i just know that there's some of you guys need to hear this which you now have and some of you would just feel it naturally and that's the way it's supposed to go so don't question it when you all of a sudden feel like you're outside of the feeling and you're like, oh my God, am I even okay? Like, did I just move from like over emotional to like psycho <laughs> or am I depressed? Don't question that too much. It's a higher perspective and it's very liberating if you'll allow it to be. Okay, that was my message for you guys. Spiritually, you know, my intuitive message that I got these last days and I was very excited to share it with you because it's I jumped into it and you're gonna feel different after it I actually had a moment just say as well right after that and I was like okay I feel this way and that's because I'm protective you know that's my natural instinct I protect the people I love protect the people I care about sometimes for um, against better judgment that's my first instinct protect and keep safe right but I gotta allow, you know, other perspective to come in that and not let the protectiveness, allow it to be there, but not to overrule the, the outcome and also the way I feel about people's decisions to, to, to go with what they want, you know? It's, even though you can feel that it's maybe not the right decision, it doesn't mean that they are not meant to take that vote, you know, to learn something from that mistake. And our first instinct is to protect, you know, and, and that's beautiful. That's one of the most beautiful signs because it makes us hella loyal as well. It just does. Um, yet, you gotta, I think you will naturally allow to have other sides come in as well. And it's going to be very freeing. And it's also a, a looking at yourself thinking, whoa, I'm so overprotective. You know, it's a good thing to be protective and to take care and to be loyal and to stand next to somebody and help somebody through it. But I, I'm not supposed to take over out of protectiveness. I'm not supposed to take all the things on me so they don't have anything to feel. And I can all feel it because I can handle it. Because I want to protect you against the tears, against sadness. And it's like looking at yourself thinking, whoa, I really thought I did it out of love, but maybe I did do it out of love, but also is that overruling energy of wanting to protect. So it's a natural instinct. Is it then pure love? Because if we, if we send something out out of pure love, it comes from the heart protectiveness. Yes. But is it, you know, or is there another way to show more 
purest form of love towards that person by allowing them to be. Even though your instinct says protect, 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 error, error, alarm, girl. <laughs> Get the person out of danger. <laughs> You know, sometimes they say if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Maybe they need to prove themselves that they are actually capable of standing the heat in that kitchen. But if you never allow them to come into the kitchen, how the hell are they supposed to know if they're actually capable of standing the heat? You know, even though we don't never want anybody to stand the heat in that kitchen. You know, we want the kitchen to be calm and air code. <laughs> That's how we want to see our people inside that kitchen, you know? We don't want them to see them in panic because they can't stand the heat, you know? But we got to allow them. And that's maybe a form of love as well. It's allowing them to find that pathway and be there if they make a mistake. Well, it is, it is a mistake, you know, while they're learning their lessons. And vice versa, people allow you to do that sometimes too. And then you're just like, but why didn't you protect me for going in that kitchen? It was because they wanted you to, to, to find it out for yourself. That's not negative always, right? Okay, Cancer, I'm going to put the cards down. I'm trying not to talk too much, which I'm miserably failing at up until now. But I have just so much energy and messages corrupt up inside my body because I'm not used to not doing readings on a daily or at least every other day and to not be able to speak and uh, that has been very intense so it's all coming out right now in this in in this beginning of this reading even though yes and what is up with these cards why is there no card coming out let me see I'm going to focus my energy towards it right now. Maybe the universe just wanted to let me talk, I guess. Okay, show me a card for Cancer for the month of May. Show me a card for Cancers. Cancer Sun Moon Rising for the month of May. Show me a card for Cancers for the month of May. There we go, there's your card. Wow, that's beautiful. Expect a miracle. Some of you guys are, you know, some of my cancers will expect a miracle when it comes to a pregnancy. Whether it's somebody around you or maybe it's you. Um, that doesn't have to happen necessarily. But if you've been wanting and waiting on it, I think you're going to get some news. Some of you are going to get a baby sent to you. A soul. Um... That could be true like uh, an adoption agency where you've been involved with for quite some time. That could come in May but also in June, July because it's an, it's an energy that's coming through. So energy is fluid. It could stop sometimes. So it could bring in some delay. But if you are uh, wanting and going through the process of, of, um, of adopting a, a child, you're going to get a very special soul very special type of child and he or she and I feel like it's a boy it could be a girl but right now with this energy I feel like it's a boy oh and he is such a bundle of joy he's coming in to bring some light and he needs a cancer mother whether you're someone rising it's like this cancer energy he needs you to um, be, the, be the mother you know <laughs> in his life in his lifetime basically so that's a, just a side note, it's just so beautiful and you're gonna know within a couple months if you know the, this child coming and live with you guys or with you, you're gonna feel something about it and a cancer mother feels it in the child. I can even feel it with other people's children. I'm like, oh, now she's special. <laughs> Wait a couple years to see, see people coming through walls and stuff. <laughs> No, I'm not. It's not a joke. It's actually what happened to me as a as a kid. So it's not like I don't have any experience with it. But it's like it's gonna need you because if somebody understands and are open, is open for that type of souls, it's gonna be the cancer, you know. So basically, very beautiful. It's just it's very beautiful. Okay. Um, then 
I feel that you have been praying for something. Some of you guys have been literally praying, having like a white sage or anything like this. I see like a table with, with a photo. I see um, crystals and just, I don't know, like it's a photo or it's a framed picture, which could have been for like, um, it's like a feminine goddess or something like that I see. But something like that, it's like literally praying and having this sacred place to meditate or to bring in positive energy. And you've been praying for something for quite some time. And you have been given the faith. Um, it's coming in. Because I see that it's it's also with the white sage. You've been clearing out your energy. And um, it's manifesting something. It's releasing some energy blockages. You have no clue what you just released. And you can feel it a little bit. But it's like by just following the feel of. Okay, I need this sacred place. I'm going to make this and i'm just gonna keep clearing out my energy i use this full moon to recharge my crystals and all of that and with that you naturally lift off some blockages around uh, certain aspects of your life we actually been praying for so that's coming in the month of may could be june like i said energy is very fluid at the moment it's always fluid but right now it's like it could be <laughs> yesterday or in two weeks it's like right now it's just a little bit all over the place but it's very it's around you so very positive, very beautiful. Um, for the rest, have faith that your prayers are being heard. And then it said, uh, and are being answered. So just to do, keep the faith with that one. Oh, and I think, I think if you are, if you are that couple that are actually adopting uh, a child, which I think is, is just beautiful. Uh, I feel that one of you inside that union has some um, fears around it. And it's not because I, oh, like I'm not ready to become a parent or something. It's not that at all. It's about not knowing exactly if you're going to be able to deal with if the, if the child wants to, you know, meet his biological parents and if that's even possible and all those things. And that there's this person that that you're dealing with with one of the two could be you because you know of course you want to give your child everything uh, as a cancer mom like you're so like you just want to give it the world basically all moms want that but especially cancers they they don't want to see any sadness in their kids but there are certain things that you can't uh keep them safe from you know they're gonna go through certain emotions and things but that doesn't mean that you're not gonna give them so many tools in life but a love you share you know and you're gonna let them they're gonna grow up to be a very self-confident uh self-loving which i love so strongly about this new generation that's standing up right now they they're very aware of um self-love and they're coming into that much more than our generation and the generation before us so um, which I found so beautiful. You're gonna be have a very important part in that. So that's the whole. It was whole. It's all meant to be. You know, it's all meant to be to go that way. And it's you're gonna know and see. So one of the person in that, uh, it's naturally to feel that way. So if your partner is feeling that, and you just don't know what to do with that fear of that person, um, it's gonna be alright. You see, ending to that. So allow that fear to be there for that person. That's okay. It's working through something or for yourself. That, that, that doesn't take away the fact that you're not capable of, you know, adopting. It's just things you work out throughout the years, you know, and every kid is different as well as well. So course there will always be certain things like I said there's just some things I'm just gonna go with this there are just some things that you can't protect your child from you just can't even though you really want to you know okay that's it for now oh but for my other cancers because I'm going so deeply into the whole adoption process um, There is some of you, and let's just stay in that a little bit, okay? I also want to get out to, because I'm getting that very strongly. It's like some of you are going to 
get pregnant basically by yourself you're like i don't want a relationship um but i do want to become a mother and i feel like i'm ready and i feel like i have to I have something to offer and i just feel it so strongly and i need to go and follow that and you're actually gonna really do some serious research on actually go and try and and do that basically you're like i have financial resources i have enough love i have enough spiritual wisdom and spiritual growth to know that i can bring this child up and offer it the world basically so i also wanted to include that because i do get that in the reading and i think that's 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 beautiful as well so um, follow your soul man what and whatever anybody says to you this month or any month go and follow that because it's showing you exactly where we need to go right now okay okay cancers let's focus on the general energy for this month for the month of may going through change going through transformation i feel it stronger for the month of may and for the month of march and, and april that's kind of sort of what's going on it's just things ending maybe relationships maybe jobs maybe um you finish certain things when it comes to your uh your college or anything like that finding some inner strength and getting it tested you know it's like you feeling good about yourself and the next day you know something happens and it's getting tested but it's actually building you up stronger and stronger and stronger it's uh, for example with me i had an operation or a treatment done in the month of february which i told me then that after it i will heal and everything is going to be better um I did and they said you're gonna have to wake up for like two three weeks I was like okay fine I'll plan it in two three weeks later the pain got worse and I was in it for like eight weeks then I got back and they told me that it, it they, they made a mistake it, did, it didn't go well and we're gonna have to actually do another operation on or another treatment and that's going to be like two months so you're going to be in pain for two months and then you're going to have to operation because we just can't help you any quicker and i was like wow okay so i just overcame this whole fear of actually doing this treatment which you tell me that's gonna be it and then bomb nope that was not it <laughs> so but the thing is is that i've it's, I just want to give it as an example. I really do not want to get too deeply into my health or, you know, for that matter. I don't want to make it too personal. But it's just, I see that happening constantly at this moment. It's like, I give you a little bit and I take a little bit, you know, back. So I can see, can prove you that you're actually capable of, of, of doing it. And it was about surrendering, 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 surrendering to my fears, surrendering to... Um, my work ethic as well i would like i love to work i and i had to surrender to not being capable of doing that and i feel with a lot of you guys that that's you as well so that's why i'm saying i'm sharing it because i know that it's something personal for others as well but what i do see with this is this change coming which basically asking you to face your fears and then bomb the tower is coming down. And you are right up into the Nine of Pentacles and the beautiful Empress. And then we have the um, Ace of Swords moving into the World card. So basically, there's this transformation going on. Some of you will end up single after a huge fight that could be with a scorpio or a leo person um that's for some of you i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say like i don't see it um i'm not 100 percent sure that's gonna be a very long lasting ending but i do know that you will feel more grounded after that ending is happening or it just have happened and you maybe are in the tower energy right now but you will overcome this and you will feel way more grounded after this situation is ending so that's very powerful 
Then we have the Ace of Swords, basically is speaking your truth. I'm going to see where the Five of Swords came out. Let's get some clarified on that. Wow. Five of Swords. Okay, what they show me with this is that basically Yeah, you go from the five into the four, so it's like you standing down. You're like, this is like this petty, petty arguments and normally maybe you will go in and now you're just like, you know what, no. I don't even have the energy for this anymore. I cannot, just, I just cannot. And maybe it's you protecting your spiritual journey or your spiritual way of looking at things. It's like, I'm just gonna, not going to invest time and energy into people that just in the end of the day are um, either trying to use me for something or trying to keep me small or keep me, you know, too grounded like that when I, I need to be evolving and growing and I feel that push so I need to do me basically so I feel that you're ending up giving in to your fears I really feel that this is sort of an underlining conversation with yourself wanting something but then you know this this voice inside of you tells you like you're not good enough you don't know how to do that you've never done that before some people have tried it never worked out la 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 it's 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 giving in that under that toxic basically you know falling down um situation when it comes to to relationship i feel like it has to do with the dynamic between you and a person whether it's a friendship um a relationship or something like that what I do see with this is that there's peace coming to the home. Okay? There's, um, you will feel abundant. Abundant in the month of May. That's not necessarily because, you know, you get like a big amount of money on your bank account and you're just good. It has something much more meaningful um, energy to it. Because I feel like you're going to feel really blessed you know it's like you're putting your hand on your chest like wow i'm just i don't know what to say i just feel so blessed you know and that's such a beautiful energy it's like some, some like i said expect a miracle expect good things to come to you this month and the things will come to you this month because it's a very powerful energy to be in you know um it's no longer allowing yourself to, to talk yourself out of the things you want to go and do, Cancer. This world card is this ending of cycles and it's this new shift. You go from one uh, energy into the another. You know? Um, Yeah, I feel that so strongly. It's like you're going to find peace within. Like, um, whether somebody gives you that energy or not, you feel loved. Whether you, um, you have all of the things or are actually starting to do it and feeling a lot better, feeling wealthy when it comes to your health, feeling blessed when it comes to something coming in which you didn't expect to receive and you're actually out there receiving it and you just feel blessed. I really feel this is that blessed feeling and I think that's just so beautiful. That's, it's really beautiful. Uh, a heads up for this month don't give your give in too much to like that like i said those arguments with people that are just small-minded just let them be small-minded and focus back onto the positive because you're out here on a whole nother level right now okay that's very important don't let your fear suck you out of things if it, your energy says you to go go and uh, jump in because any risk you take out of a fearless situation so basically you t you're fearing self bad self-talk staying into a situation where you know doesn't feel right any any card that indicates you staying in there 
um, and go and coming out of that leads into beautiful feeling of healing, feeling of peace, feeling of blessed, like you just feel blessed, you feel you feel abundant, you feel like you're respected in the world, you feel like you're seen, which is very important, like you feel like you're seen as a as a human being, as a soul, you know, without giving everything you got to be able to feel that way. You're feeling seen by yourself, you're feeling heard by yourself, which is the most powerful thing to do as a cancer is looking in the mirror and thinking, wow, I really, uh, I just really need a lot more water. You know, I can see it in my skin. Um, I just need to drink more water because I'm willing to cater to my own body, right? And really seeing your own needs instead of on other people what they need and catering to them. It's like, okay, I'm willing to give, but I need to be able to have a he very healthy balance with that because I'm not getting as much satisfaction out of catering to you as out of catering to myself this month. I'm sorry, not sorry, okay? Normally, we feel much more... When we can make another person smile and, you know, they're happy and stuff. What makes us really happy, okay? We love catering and, and caring for other people. And that's very beautiful and that's natural in our soul. But there are moments in time which is now coming. It makes us happier to make ourselves happy right now. And that is unapologetically because... Unapolog unapologetically. Wow, what a word. Uh... <laughs> Um, yeah, I think in the end of the day, Cancers, this will be such a beautiful, powerful month. And I don't even need that much many cards to feel that so strong because all cards coming out, it's like, open up, speak the truth, allow yourself to see things from a higher perspective without the fear and going in certain conversations without fear of losing the person actually brings so much to the table, okay? Brings a lot of growth between two people, between you and a group, between you and your boss. It's about stepping in, not to be vicious, you know, not giving in to this type of conversations. But it's about, I know my word, I know myself, you know, I have my self-love on fleek right now. I got it, it will upgrade it. And I know my word. That doesn't mean that I will just, I, I, I won't, you know, I will be a diva or anything about it. <laughs> it's not that. It's about also knowing that not settling for less is a form of self love, basically. And I feel that that's very healthy. So, like I said, it's feeling blessed. Feeling blessed, that's a very important key for you guys. I'm gonna get three Moonology cards for you. You can pick one or two from if you want to. Um, because I feel strongly guided towards this deck. Yeah, okay. Well, okay, we already have two cards out. Perfectly because I don't want them to get flipped. So one more card for my kids for the month of May, please. My card for my shuffle. Okay, it's this one. Okay, cancers, take your time. I'm gonna get started with the first card. Beautiful balance spirituality and practicality and that's what i told you guys about in the beginning right it's about knowing what you feel on the spiritual level on what your intuition is telling you and getting sort of that extra perspective like almost that aquarian's energy that's what this card is saying to you is the balance of both when you go to a spiritual awakening to a serious one okay <laughs> you cannot sometimes tap into the 3d energy you just like this this whole thing is one big show and it's just literally not even real and i just have to play these games of acting like i'm right in it when i know and feel i'm much more connected to something way higher than this and i see all these people getting grabbed by fear but i don't feel that right now like i can see beyond 
and then you feel like you've been living in like this whole big show business thing your entire life and you're just like why is everything so fake you know that's like a serious moment of awakening and then you come back a little bit more to earth and you allow the 3d to become in balance between your spirituality and between you know practical life physical things work business things that you know um but in, in that very moment, and I had those moments as well, um, it's, it's, uh, you get such moments of clarity and just like, oh my, uh, you know, it's, um, what? <laughs> I just have to laugh because <laughs> I know some of you had this and it's like, oh my God, it's so fake. Like, am I supposed to act like I'm like impressed or am I that I'm scared because I'm not scared because I'm vibrating so high that I just, that, that, that piece of paper or that bill or that thing, just, it just doesn't scare me. I'm sorry. You just don't scare me. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's hard to come back from that. You're going to feel a little low okay after you come come down but it's it's about bringing it into balance basically okay card number two take time to breathe out that's beautiful just take some time to breathe breathe things out breathe out the fear and anxiety do some breathing as an exercises this month if you feel a little bit overwhelmed okay um card number three Woo -hoo, okay a new start is coming it is coming okay and with a beautiful card crowning your your reading expect a miracle i think that all you know it means we're gonna have a, a really good month of may hopefully all of us feel very healthy and happy and aligned and able to do all everything we want to do it makes us happy <laughs> including me <laughs> and I, I'll see you guys uh, back I think in the month of May like if I'm okay I'm going to try to add some more things to this channel I really wanted to do this for a long time so thank you so much Kansas I love your soul the, your energy your souls I love your patience or this reading and um, I'm just gonna speak to you guys soon. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.